Hello everyone and welcome back to the Lydia Edit. I'm Lydia and in today's video we're talking about pollen bags. I'm going to show you the two pollen bags I own and I'm going to review them for you so that you know whether or not it's worth investing in pollen bags. I know that pollen is this French brand that it's all the rage at the moment. Right after the first lockdown, it really acquired a lot of visibility and international fame, so much so that their prices have inflated a lot. It's by being a French brand, Pollen bags are made in Spain with Italian leather most of the times or Spanish leather. Everything is designed in France. And it's really the French design that makes it so um, visual to the eyes. The positioning is like affordable luxury, I would say, and the prices are rising up with each year. I think very soon Poland bags are going to be as expensive as Louis Vuitton, Gucci and Yves Saint Laurent. It's actually the right time to get these bags, otherwise they're going to be super, super pricey and um, only 10% of the world could afford them. Let me show you how they arrive when you order. They arrive in a very sturdy um, cardboard box. You see, it's very, very sturdy. This is actually the old branding that Polan has. I'm gonna show you how the second one arrived so you can see how it changed over time. This was the numero un mini bag and inside of it, each bag comes in a dust bag. This dust bag is like a traditional one for these kind of uh, more luxurious bags. You know, it feels like suede to the touch almost. And uh, let me show you how the new branding is. The new branding completely different because the cardboard is recycled. So it has that feel to it. And, but also the writing pollen is actually embossed in it. It's, it's not painted anymore. Um, that's part of their sustainability actions. Same with the dust bag. This is like a standard cotton bag. You know, there's no, there's like kind of a harsher feeling to it. You can also tell that the font has changed. So don't be surprised if you buy a secondhand Polan bag and it comes with a slightly different box. It is just the older branding. Um, now, in terms of what I prefer, I actually prefer the first branding because it immediately looks like more luxurious for me. Let me start from my first ever Polan bag. This is the numero un mini which is kind of big enough, I would say, you know, when you read mini, you would probably think something really small, but that's a nano one. Um, I've had this since December 2021. And as you can see, it looks amazingly good. It's like new, <laughs> seriously. Um, there's not even a scratch in it, to be honest. It's really in mint conditions and I swear I wore it a lot. It is made of full grain leather and, and it's textured leather. Um, the leather comes from Spain. Uh, it's made with a golden clasp when, where you see the Polen logo and a magnetic closure. Inside it has these pressure buttons that you can enlarge the entrance with. And as you can see, it's quite roomy. Inside it has a pocket without any zipper in it. For the straps, as you can see, it's a chain. It's quite sturdy and quite heavy, I have to say. So, so heavy that it makes the bag heavy and uh, you can change it. And basically you can change it like this. You can take it off and you can clean it. I really have to clean mine because as you can see, and I have to look up how to do it, but I suggest you do that too regularly because otherwise it will definitely stain your clothes. It has these four little feet like you can just leave your bag on a table or wherever and not mess up the bottom of it. There are so many more colors. I think the ones that they're selling now have like a suede or another kind of leather on the flap and uh, full grain leather, textured leather um, for the body of the bag. Um, it has this amazing design that really caught my eye. This is how Poland beca became so popular with this bag and this design. In terms of durability, as I said, this is amazing. You can tell that they really use the best leather. It doesn't have any scratches anywhere. It's super sturdy and yet very, very smooth. It's a really posh bag. Oh, I forgot to show you that it ha also has a pocket in the back. 
when I got the first one, I believe this was 260 euros, but now it's way more expensive. If I'm not wrong, like around 100 euros more, but I would have to check again. I would definitely get this bag over and over again, and I highly recommend it to you because um, it's a very sturdy and um, spacious bag. Now I'm going to show you what it can fit inside. I'm going to put my phone case in it because I'm filming with my phone so that you know how much space and then I can put my wallet in mirror makeup floss yes I do have floss always with me and as you can see there's still a lot of space um the only kind I would say is the chain as it makes it very very um, heavy and also in the summer is not so practical you would definitely feel the chain on your body directly on your skin and although they do sell like a piece of leather that you can place on your chain um, this isn't actually available in every country it is available in the french online store but it's not available in a german one and i am located in germany now so so i would say this is 100 percent a worthy bag um it's the one i recommend the most just because it's a very sturdy bag but it's also very spacious too um it looks amazing and stylish the only con for me is really the chain i wish they did something that had chain with leather to protect your skin and to protect your clothes. Now let's talk about uh, my second Pelin bag. Uh, this is the uh, numero 10. Really, really popular because of its shape. It's a crescent bag and these bags are very, very popular at the moment. Probably a little bit more subtle than the numero 1 mini. Um, starting with the logo, which is only embossed and engraved in here. Um, sorry, engraved. Um, on the leather this is a full grain calf leather but it's smooth so it can scratch a little and it can also arrive a little bit what seems to be a little bit scratched it's actually because of the type of leather and it's the beauty of it too nevertheless it's like in in, in terms of durability and sturdiness and quality it's only second to the full grain textured leather that i showed you before this is still one of the best leather cuts you can have um when it comes it comes with a different kind of strap with two different straps a small one and a long one this is the long one and as you can see it's also very much adjustable on this side you, there's a button here and you can change it however you want um, this is how it is inside as you can see there's a a pocket here no zipper as per usual um, and this is how it is inside so immediately I think you can tell that the opening is quite small so it's gonna be a little bit difficult to put things inside but also to get them um, from the bag um, this is the width of the bag as well um, it's it's actually large enough for you to accommodate a lot of things and inside it has this feeling like it's made of suede. It's a little bit gummy, you know, you know what I mean? Um, it's, it's such an amazing quality. I'm one of the very few bags from Polen that has a zipper. And I actually love it. It makes me feel a little bit safer with my bag. I know it's only psychological. Um, the best would be like having a zipper and a flap, but still <laughs> I think um, this is really useful. Um, and I love that it comes with the different straps and you can adjust the straps, meaning that you can wear it in a lot of different styles. You can wear it longer cross body, you can wear it longer on the shoulder, um, and different height and different lengths on the shoulder, different lengths cross body. Um, you can also just, um, have the strap and, and have it on the shoulder, kind of like a Dior saddlebag. Now let me show you what it can have inside because this bag is definitely not as spacious as the numero numero un. Um, so this is my phone case. See that immediately with my wallet it's most of the space already taken. I forgot my keys are on the door, but of course you can fit the keys in there. I have my ID and a few other documents 
in the pocket here. I have my lip gloss, lip liner, floss, and and mirror on the side. So you can see, you know, I put my hand in here and most of the space is gone because the if you fill it up even more, it's not going to close well. Um, it's probably going to uh, put it out of shape. This is the only downside with uh, this kind of bag. If you are a person who likes to bring a lot of stuff, this is definitely not the bag you want to go for. It's a small bag. It, it doesn't look small. Um, there's not a lot of space in the opening and it doesn't open a lot as you can see so it's it's kind of impractical for that as you can see basically um, you only get this much space because here you can only have very little lip gloss size items in terms of its price it's a uh, 380 euros I think I got it for Christmas this year and obviously since it's so new, even though I used it so many times, it's in amazingly good condition. So in terms of quality, it's always the same story. It's really, really beautiful. I thought it was more practical, but it really isn't because it's so small. I still use it because I don't need to bring much more with me, but whenever I need that extra space, I don't have. And that's something I really appreciate about the numero 1. All in all, I don't regret any of these, of course, because this one, I, I love it because it has a zipper. And um, I'm definitely going to get more Pollen bags. As per usual, the links for the two bags will be in my description box if you want to shop them from there. I'd be super happy that you trust me so much. I'm super happy whenever you buy something from my affiliate links because it supports me and it doesn't change anything for you. Declaration of trust and love for me. So I hope this was helpful to you. And if it was, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and watch this next.